Hey guys, I just wanted to show a new product here. It's called the Air Link, and it's kind of cool. So you've got the base unit here, which comes with a few different parts. You've got some antennas. Um, these are an 11 AC uh, antennas. So yeah, pretty quick transfer of data. Those just screw into the back. And you've got your antenna points here. There's a couple of um, other things. You've got line out. So if you've got some actively powered speakers in the conference room or a PA system, then you can whack those in. I'll put the antenna up. So obviously the antennas will just be sitting vertically or around vertical. You get the power supply included. You also can, uh, you can wall mount it at the back here. So you get your wall mount included too. Here and the screws. Yeah, your data connection, so I recommend that we use the data connection, as you see, PoE, and you actually get two uh, USBs at the back and one at the front, I'll show you that soon, and an HDMI in and an HDMI out, so stupidly when I first plugged it in, I plugged the TV into the HDMI in, don't be stupid like me, use the HDMI out, and you've got your power switch and the USB. The USB can be used for a bunch of different things, but one of the things that you might use it for is a mouse. And it also comes with two dongles, which we'll explain soon. But again, USB into your PC or your laptop or whatever device, and your big button on the front. It looks a lot like a, a click share, it's fair to say. Um, they also provided us with a comparison chart uh, between the click share and, uh, and the air link. Um, this one is a lot newer, so yeah, it's got things like 11AC um, and it's got 4K also. All right, so we've got the unit plugged in now. I plugged in an HDMI lead, HDMI out. As mentioned, don't go the HDMI in unless you're using it for a different purpose. We've screwed in the two antennas. I plugged in a data lead. Uh, it supports PoE, as mentioned. I plugged in the power supply. I also plugged in one of the dongles. So to pair them up, that's what you do. You'll notice that it'll say pairing and when it's ready it'll say succeeded um, notice that the button is actually red i've got a laptop over here also so i'm going to plug this into the usb of the laptop and you see the flashing light so it's waiting to pair and so it's loaded up strangely enough it loads up on the cd drive not exactly sure why it does that. To pair them up, I find sometimes you have to open that CD drive and we're ready to share. So to project what's on this screen, I can either press here or most people what they'll do is press on the dongle itself. So if I press down, you see your name appear and you see whatever's on the, on the screen. If you want to go back to the other screen, you click here and you'll go back to the other screen. Now I wanted to plug in the mouse just to show you the user interface here. So I've got control of the mouse and I go to settings. As you see here, the password is admin. Here's a 4K screen, so we're watching this in 4K. So a few things here, obviously your IP address, so it's by default DHCP. You've got uh, your um, ability to change it from DHCP to static here. We'll just leave that for now. Um, it'll act as a hotspot. Uh, it has a cool uh, Wi-Fi analyzer. I won't show that right now because it takes a moment, but it'll show you um, if you've got any IP internet issues or Wi-Fi issues. Yeah, some of the other ones airplay quality so you can go basic medium or high depending on the bandwidth that you want to use if you unclick that then it won't show your name remote view lock we'll show that on the app in a moment and obviously if you want to find the device on your network um, it's easier if you have land discovery yeah, english by default um, updates are done here. You plug in the the internet, and you'll get uh, the the date updated on its own, and your software version is there. This will just change your input from 
the standard interface to the HDMI in if you're using that at the back of the unit. You'll notice here also you've got a rolling password. You can choose how often it refreshes. I'll show you why that's important in a second. So we're going to check out the app right now and my phone will hopefully find 10 million Wi-Fi devices. Isn't this fun when you're doing a video and everything's taking ages? Here we go. All right, so we've got a lot of devices, but the FJB, that's the one that we need. So I'm going to try to connect to that one there. Once I've got a connection, you'll notice on the TV screen, if you look up here, you'll notice that the password is written up here. So once we're ready to go, it'll ask for the password. One, two, three, four. And that's a rolling password, so it changes. Um, I think we've got it set to changing every five minutes. And we're connected. So then we go to the app. So I've downloaded the app already, but if you look for wireless media, you'll notice the app there. And we click on it, and there we are, FJB. So there's a few things you notice on the screen. It says, welcome to my iPhone. Um, let's go over a couple of features. One of them is the mouse. So to center your mouse, you press here and that'll center your mouse and you can move your mouse about and control it this way. And to click, obviously you just click on the screen. I'll get out of that. Remote view. So we've got our remote view here. So if I want to get back to my PC, I can press the button and we can see it's gone back onto my PC picture. And also we'll go into a little bit of an explanation, but we can also um, do some local files here. So one last feature would be the uh, AirPlay. So just grab its Wi-Fi here. Wow, I hope nothing bad pops up here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to go to AirPlay. You can pick it here, or you can swap down. Obviously, on an iPhone, I don't need to tell you guys how to use an iPhone. And up comes our, up comes our AirPlay, and in 1080p.